But you're just frightened You think that we'll corrupt your kids If our agenda goes unchecked Funny, just this once, you're correct We'll convert your children Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly And you will barely notice it The wonderful, the amazing, the Dragnificent, E. E was the performer's name, the youngest drag queen around, that's how they announced him. And he, she, whatever, was rolling around on the ground, jumping around, performing, and essentially the format was to dance around seductively, remove some articles of clothing even, and people give you money, throw dollars at you, like what you would see at a strip club. And this is really disturbing because it's grooming children so that when they become adults, it's all natural and part of it. Well, in case you're wondering if it's really a spiritual war we're watching, here's this news story. The Illinois Elementary School is offering an after-school Satan Club. The local school district is defending the Satan Club. It's sponsored by the Satanic Temple of the United States. The club claims it will help kids learn benevolence and empathy as well as, quote, personal sovereignty. As it's openly stated here in the Satanic Rituals. I'm finna sell my soul. I'ma hit y'all when I'm through. I'ma be rich as hell. Alright? Look, look, do sell the soul. It ain't take too long. Illuminati, man. <laughs> What'd you say, Cook? <laughs> It's the truest thing, like, you're attracted to something because it's different. And uh, they even say this in marriage, that before marriage, opposites attract and then opposites attack because you're attracted to what's different. You're drawn to what's different. Not at first. At first, you fear it. That's why they had to take the uh, Old Town Road off of the uh, billboard charts on country music because it was too different. They couldn't, they couldn't find a category for it. 
And they said, it's not country enough, but it's not rap enough. And we don't know what it is. It's different. That's why they crucified Jesus. You know you don't have many preachers. They can put Lil Nas X and Jesus in the same paragraph. I got to thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This day means so much more than, than putting on this green jacket in many ways. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from Augusta National, but we will bring you much more of uh, Bubba Watson, obviously. We try to earn our way to heaven. We try to earn our righteousness. We try to earn right standing with God. We want our vertical relationship to be right because God says he's placed eternity in our hearts. So all of us know, whether we're professed to be atheists or whether we're Christian, all of us know inside that there is a God. There is something. We're, ha we're here for a reason. And the only way your vertical relationship can be made right is through the blood of his son by turning and repenting of your sins, by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross to pay the price that God demands because of his holiness. In the 60 seconds I have remaining with you, sir, let's ask you, we talk so much about this on a macro level. How about on a micro, on a day-to-day -day basis? How can we, you know, black, white, whatever, improve this? Well, I, I, honestly, I think I, I point to it in the very last paragraph that I read and and I'm encouraged because things aren't the way they used to be you know we all have grandparents that, that told us how things were we've all seen documentaries we are definitely making progress but I think on an individual on a uh, on a micro level the issue is not really skin the issue is sin and I, I firmly believe that the issue is that internally we are flawed internally we need salvation from our sin. Internally, our sin makes us prideful. It makes us judgmental. It makes us prejudiced, which leads to racism. It makes us lash out at people that don't look like us. It makes us look past, look past evidence to protect people that look like us. It, it makes us do all those things. It makes us lash out in anger. It makes us point finger. It, 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 it wow. makes us, our sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so, th to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. Yep, oh, and just like that, we lost him. I know, I heard you guys rapping me. I just couldn't let him go. Benjamin Watson, thank you so much. Good luck at the game Sunday. I'm Brooke Ball. center of the earth to release him from the abyss they want him to come onto the surface of the planet it is called the tribulation it's going to happen soon do you have any idea edward what this woman is she's singing a very old song um, it's a mix between italian and paganism by ancient ancient animal worship and nature worship which is what we're seeing from yes. the screen we're now seeing people come out with branches in hand and draped like old uh you see the old barracks uh, the old priests the yes. old animalistic priests that are on the screen this is raw paganism. druids druids well, 
uh, what is that woman? She, like she's wearing antlers. Antlers, antlers on her head. Antlers. Yeah. These people, these dignitaries, are sitting there in the audience watching this. Well, that lady looks very scared. <laughs> One of the ladies, when you look in the audience, she, she's baffled by what she's seeing right now. She must be the only Christian there. And just a reminder, uh, Merkel is there. Crowley taught that in order for the new eon of Antichrist to be established, he had to initiate the world into homosexuality. Crowley began by implementing many of his homosexual sex magic rituals into a secret order called the OTO. Aleister Crowley knew that if he was to establish the new age of Antichrist, he would have to destroy God's design for family, consisting of men and women as husband and wife. Crowley therefore declared in his book Magic Without Tears that family was public enemy number one. It's 20... Eighteen, there's gonna be drag kids in the world. And I'm one of them. I'm Francesca Valli, one of the UK's youngest drag kids. The first time Francesca Valley appeared on social media, I was afraid that there was going to be some hate comments, and there was some hate comments. A drag queen is a man who puts on a feminine persona. Bitch, I'm everything. If you say that a little kid can make the informed decision to mutilate himself and to cut off his genitals, we're told certainly that little kid can make the informed decision to dance around for dollars. This is such a deeply unjust society. There's a video just put up by Angela Stanton King, who is a, uh, a right-wing activist. This was apparently the South Beach area LGBT club called Palace. The Blaze uh, reported on this video where it's at this drag bar and they bring little kids up on stage and have them pick up the dollar bills that are being thrown at them during this performance. Take a listen. Now, I'm sitting here trying to figure out why in the hell these people got these little bitty ass kids at this drag show, y'all. But it's 1140 It is 11.40 at night. These people have children in a drag show in L.A. on the beach. Look at this. Look at this f bullshit. Look at this bullshit now. Look, look, they giving them f money, yo. Little girls now. Look at this. Look at this. And throwing money at these little girls. So we obviously blurred out the image. We don't want these little girls' faces to be out there. Uh, and we, we had to bleep out the woman's commentary. But I, I actually wish we didn't have to bleep out the woman's commentary <laughs> because although I, I prefer not to use coarse language in public, I prefer not to go blue, I think this woman <laughs> is saying exactly what we're all thinking. I think this woman, if, frank, if anything, she was being restrained. Could you imagine if you, you, well, I guess you wouldn't be there, right? You wouldn't be at some drag bar in South Beach that would have kids dancing on the stage. But if you were and you saw that, what would you, what must you think? This is such a deeply unjust society that would permit this sort of thing. And yet, according to the logic of the left, that the left is pushing, especially on this gender issue, what's wrong with that? Now, it's fun. It's nice. It's open. It's tolerant. It's liberating that these little, little itty bitty girls are being treated, or I don't know if they're girls or they're boys who dress like girls. I don't know. I don't know. I did, didn't pay close enough attention to the video and you shouldn't either. Let's just call them girls. What's wrong with them being treated like strippers and picking up the, stripping is empowering. What's being, what's wrong with them having dollar bills thrown at them? Like they're, like they're just meat puppets, you know, like they're just flesh. We, we're just flesh. That's all we all are, right? 
What's wrong with them being sexualized? We're told that little children, three-year-old kids, ought to be able to make the decision to castrate themselves and to mutilate their bodies because they know their true sexual essence. They have a deep sexual nature. They are, they are sexualized from the very beginning and they possess the ability to consent to these sorts of things, right? So we got to get rid of age of consent laws. We have to, if you, if you say that a little kid can make the informed decision to mutilate himself and to cut off his genitals, certainly that little kid can make the informed decision to dance around for dollars. That's a, that's a far less outrageous sexual sort of decision. Surely that little kid can consent to sexual behavior if you're granting the premise that the kid can castrate himself. Where is the, there doesn't need to be a coherence. There doesn't need to be a logic here because what the left, the left is ultimately denying that in favor of willfulness and interest. If I want it, it is good. That is ultimately what this is coming down to. And justice never enters the equation. Last weekend, the Disney Channel sitcom Good Luck Charlie introduced the network's first openly gay characters. Parents of the young Charlie have set up a play date with one of Charlie's friends named Taylor, and their Taylor is and just happens to have two moms. So Disney reps released a statement saying, like all Disney Channel programming, it was developed to be relevant to kids and families around the world and to reflect the themes of diversity and inclusiveness. Just like you worried, they'll change their group of friends. You won't approve of where they go at night to protest. Oh, when you'll be disgusted. So gross. When they start finding things online that you've kept far from their sight. Like information. Guess what? You'll, you'll still, still be alright. We'll convert your children. Yes, we will. Reaching one and all, there's really no escaping it. Cause even grandma likes RuPaul. And the world's getting kinder. Gen Z's gayer than grinder. Learn to love, learn to vogue, face your fate. We'll convert your children. Someone's gotta teach them not to hate. We're coming for What is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything bad about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is I am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. Oh, man, this is great. I'm going to put this on the internet. Oh, Amen. God bless you, Amen. brother. Because that's exactly what the Shriners and Masons teach, is that Lucifer, Lucifer is light. No. And you're, what you're about confirming those hospitals? it. They, they, they you know what, sir? <clears throat> Jesus said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did not we did not do these good deeds in your name. And you'll say, away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. 
Jesus said it? In Matthew chapter 5. Mercy. No. That's hard to believe. So you're a Christian and you don't know that. Actually. No, I really am. You are. Because exactly. I'm pure and virtuous. You're pure and virtuous. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're perfect without Jesus, right? No, no, no. No. Okay. Tell me about Jesus. Who is Jesus? Oh. Well, he's, he's my leader. Is he the son of God? Yes, he is. Is he the only worshipful master? Yes. Have you ever been called worshipful master? No, because I, I've just been too busy. I've been working. Working. Been working to help people. What like kind you. of work? Okay. Get out of here. <clears throat> See, this is what a mason confesses, is that Lucifer is light. Yeah.